world. Atir, you know Afghanistan very well and you've worked there a, a number of years reporting and you've also written a, a book on Afghanistan called Secret Sky, a novel of forbidden love in Afghanistan. It's fictional but it still touches on the many challenges that Afghanistan continues to face. Absolutely, and I try to write in the book to get the reader to understand the complexity of Afghanistan. We're talking about a country where two-thirds of the population lives in rural areas, not in cities. Uh, we go to places like Kabul, Herat, and Mazar, and we see uh, really the hope of the future in the young generation of Afghans, uh, Afghans who've seen the Internet, who've experienced the Internet, who are active on social media. They have televisions and whatnot, but the majority of the population does live in these rural communities, communities that really the government of Afghanistan still hasn't been able to fully reach. And within these communities, we see actors, and not just the Taliban, we see people who claim to be the Taliban, other uh, thugs that live within these communities who've really learned how to reign with power and force. And it's a part of Afghanistan that really in the last 13 years the international community hasn't been able to understand and it's a part of Afghanistan that the Kabul government hasn't really been able to reach. Atiyah, you know Dr. Ghani and Dr. Abdullah quite well from your time in Kabul. Are you optimistic about the future? You, you know, a lot of people think that I might be crazy to say that I am optimistic because both uh, Dr. Abdullah and uh, now President Ghani are two men that I've found in my personal interactions as well as professional journalistic interactions to really care about the Afghan people and the future of Afghanistan. Um, I think that the last six months was very tumultuous uh, between the two, primarily between the two parties. Uh, I think the two men themselves realize they need to put their differences aside, that they need to move forward, they need to make a plan for the Afghan people in Afghanistan that they both believe in. The only issue right now is to get these people around them in check as well because there are a lot of people bo both within the Ghani party as well as the Abdullah party who really are still unhappy about the last six months and we're hoping, at least I'm hoping, that, uh, that they're going to be able to see that that's not helpful to Afghanistan. And the big challenge for President Ghani, really, his first big challenge, is really to unify the Afghan people after uh, the divisions that we've seen not just in the last six months but in the last several decades.